Hello everyone, welcome to Blog My Passion YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have default post thumbnails for any of your posts in your uh, WordPress blog. Normally, uh, if you show the thumbnails as part of your posts in your blog, first you upload them through post section in your blog. Uh, but sometimes if you don't, uh, you may also set up uh, showing these thumbnails, uh, you know, uh, by using the images uh, that you upload as part of your uh, uh, articles posting. Uh, but sometimes you may not have any images. Uh, to upload as part of the article or you may not have like a perfect thumbnail uh, to upload uh, to show it as part of the post so in those cases if you have uh, some default thumbnails like you know, if you can show uh, some default thumbnails then this is really useful normally you upload the thumbnails uh, you know when you make any new post so uh, that is uh, when you click on this add new post you see the featured image this featured image is nothing but thumbnail like you know that you are showing as part of your uh, uh, post so uh, if you don't have a thumbnail or if you don't have any images uh, for your article then you can show a default thumbnail using this uh, 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 using this method the plugin that i'm going to use for this one is called fpw category thumbnails so this is the plugin i'm going to show you how to use that plugin and how to show the de default uh, thumbnails so to install this plugin first go to plugins uh, link here and click on add new once you click on add new search the plugins uh, section with the words fpw category thumbnails okay so this is the plugin that we are going to use uh, so click on install are you sure you want you want to install this plugin okay activate the plugin okay so now the plugin is uh, activated and uh, if you see okay so this is the plugin like you know that we are going to use so this is the settings uh, uh, section so first we have to do this like you know we have to uh, do the settings part and then we can uh, we can uh, create new articles with the default thumbnail so let's go to the settings uh, section so for the settings section, if you see like uh, uh, under the appearance section, you see this FPW category thumbnails. It's not under uh, settings area here, but uh, once this plugin is installed, you'll see this FPW category thumbnails under appearance uh, uh, menu. So you can uh, go here as well for the settings uh, settings part. So now we are in the settings part. So these are like there are different settings here. Uh, so the first setting is uh, do not overwrite if post or page has thumbnail assigned already that means if you have a uh, thumbnail already assigned then uh, we are asking that like you know don't overwrite uh, this thumbnail so we are selecting this one remove plugins data from database on uninstall that means if you want to uninstall this uh, plugin uh, normally like you know uh, most of the plugins they don't uninstall the data from database once you install the plugin uh, they will uh, set up some data in the wordpress databases uh, so if you select this uh, option and uh, whenever you uninstall uh, the data will be automatically deleted so enable fpw post thumbnails you don't need to set up this one now uh, these are like you know the different categories i have in my blog so for this one like you know first we need to uh, upload an image for each category so this is um, based on the categories that means uh, whenever you are uploading whenever you are posting an article and if you select a category and if you have already uploaded some image for that category as a thumbnail if you don't upload any new thumbnail for that post then the category image will be shown as the default thumbnail for the article so let me show you this one so this is one of the category that i have uh, which is blogging so i would like to upload like you know, some image for this one i can upload a new image or i can select an existing image uh, from the media so for this one so here like you know different options it will uh, it will show here click on get id here okay now you can upload a new image here or you can select an existing image from the media library so i am selecting an existing image here from the media library so click on the media library so on the media library i have like you know different images here 
so let's select uh, one image from here so let's select click on this image domain authority get id click on this uh, get id here okay so now this image is set as the default uh, post thumbnail under this category if you don't upload any thumbnail to the post like you know that you are doing under this category then this will be assigned as a default thumbnail for the post okay now uh, i have uploaded this one now let's select like you know uh, blogging tutorials click on get id here and select another image from here blogging tutorials i'm selecting this wordpress image so cl click on get id okay so now this is selected as the default image for this one so click on update okay so now the changes are saved successfully uh, so now let us see like you know, how it works i'm going into post and i'm creating a new post here i'll create like you know, two posts one one for blogging and one for blogging tutorials and see like you know, how it works and i'm clicking on add new here okay so uh, i'm selecting this i'm um, putting the title as blogging category thumbnail i'm just writing like you know some text here this is a test and i am copying and pasting the same thing here okay so now here i am selecting this one as the blogging category okay i'm not doing anything else i'm not uploading uh, this uh, thumbnail as well for this one and i, I am uh, i'm also not uploading any images like you know for this one so uh, the visibility like you know temporarily i'm changing it to private because uh, this is not any like you know real post i just want to show this uh, plugin to you so i'm just uh, selecting it as a private one so click on ok so now update okay so now this is updated now let's go to the home page and see like you know how it works so i'm just going to the home page here okay this is a sticky post so it won't show anything okay see so now like you know this is a private one um, uh, blogging category thumbnail this is the article like you now i have created and see like you know this is the default category thumbnail i have created now let's do another one for uh, uh, the other category which where we have uplo uploaded a default image for that blogging tutorials category so click on add new so i am adding like blogging tutorials category thumbnail so again this is a test I'm copying the same thing and okay so uh, I just created uh, you know some data here and now I'm selecting okay uh, I'm now I'm selecting the category as blogging tutorials okay I have just selected this one again I'm making it as a private post since this is not a real post so I'm just clicking OK and I'm clicking update here okay so now the post is uh, updated I'm going to the home page again and I'm just refreshing it here okay see so this is the blogging tutorials category uh, default thumbnail which is coming up for this post and so this is working like you know, perfectly all right so uh, if you have like uh, you know this kind of uh, uh, default images uh, these are very useful for you when you don't have any default uh, any thumbnails or any images for your articles so they really like you know work well uh, in the uh, in such kind of situations so hope uh, you like this video if you like this video uh, please uh, go to my uh, channel uh, blogging my passion and uh, please subscribe to it you can find my channel at youtube.com slash blogging my passion and uh, these are like a few more videos uh, one is the bloggers income reports of january 2016 where i have presented uh, some of the bloggers income reports for the month of january in 2016 uh, ranging from like you know a couple of hundred dollars to uh, um, um, to some uh, hundred thousands of dollars because there are bloggers earning like you know more than hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars a month so i have presented like all the all their income reports uh, in the first video and the next one is the cu custom contact forms this video is about creating custom contact forms because contact forms normally come up with like you know uh, few fields like you know your email your name 
uh, and you know description field and all those things but if you want to have like you know some extra fields uh, like you know uh, uploading an image if if any user wants to send you an image how to create that field so uh, you have to use a special plugin for this called uh, custom contact form so i have explained about this that plugin uh, in the second video hope you like this video and if you like this video please uh, click on this uh, subscribe button below and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you very much